Yeah, it's not even Thanksgiving yet, but many people are already looking ahead to the holidays. I know I am 45 days until Christmas, just in case you're counting there. Rockefeller Center, usually one of the city's biggest holiday attractions. We've heard a lot of you asking about whether there would be the giant Christmas tree this year, and tonight we have some answers for you. Yes, Virginia, not you, Natalie. Yes, Virginia, there is a tree, and right now it's in <laughs> Oneonta, New York. The tall timber starts the 160 mile like, huh? move to the big city on Thursday. News for Gus Rosendale shows us how the tree will help usher in the holidays and close out a year that has changed all of us. We were down the other day when they were wrapping it up. A walk with Grandma and these little guys have the big tree all to themselves, at least for now. I know it's going to be a different year with holidays and families, but we're all here. Most people passing along Route 23 in Oneonta probably don't realize they're passing by what's about to become the most famous Christmas tree in the world. Especially when it's coming from our hometown, it gets us really excited um, to watch it. So. This 75 foot tall Norway spruce will be this year's Rockefeller Center Christmas tree. Already bound up, it gets cut down Thursday and moves into our Midtown backyard this weekend. Well, I want to see them cut it down. <laughs> but I thought they might get started early this morning. And you can see the tree behind me ready for its big three hour drive down to the city. Of course, this being 2020, things are going to be a little bit different this year. Crowds will not be able to gather for when the tree is brought down on Thursday. And they'll also not be allowed to gather around Rockefeller Center on Saturday. In the weeks ahead, though, we are expecting guidelines on how people will be able to socially distance and see the tree in person. This Oneonta tree helped usher in the holidays back in 2016. And now a new tree does the honors in a year like no other. It's just nice that there's still some normalcy, I guess, is what it is. Perspective not lost on Stephanie, who watches her grandkids when their parents, both in health care, work long shifts at the hospital. I think it's great. Yeah. I think we have to keep going. There is no question we lost a lot in 2020, but at least some traditions still stand tall. In Oneonta, Gus Rosendale, News 4 New York.